Hi guys, I'm Jasper and I'm a specialist here at My Art Broker. This is a video for you if you have a Bridget Riley print and are considering selling. Bridget Riley is one of the leading painters from the 20th century. She was born in London in 1931 and has had a wonderful career spanning over six decades where she's produced wonderful paintings and prints throughout this. Her career began in around sort of 1958, where she was massively inspired by artists such as Seurat, who really devised a new way of thinking. And she really incorporated their pointillist technique and copied their artworks. Later on, she and is arguably most famous for pioneering the op art movement, which began in the late 60s. And this was created a whole new way of seeing um, contemporary artwork and that influence is still ever prominent today. The, the Bridget Riley market has recently been described as the sleeping market and there's a sense that there's this new awakening of artworks that are coming to the, uh, coming to the auction markets. And generally over the last 10 years, the prices have been steadily increasing and I think they will continue to do so in the future. There's also been some nuances that have opened up in the market. There's higher demand for the earlier works uh, compared to the slightly newer works. And that's probably driven by rarity. There's also uh, one of the biggest bolsters for the Riley print market is huge sales of original pieces. And often when a record happens for, for an artist, the print value does directly increase as a result of that. There are three main factors that determine uh, the value of a Bridget Riley print. Most common is, is the condition. What I'm seeing is, is collectors really want works that are in the best possible condition. So works that don't have fading, that aren't dry mounted, and that really look in the best possible way that they can. Furthermore to that, slightly rarer pieces generally command higher prices. That can be in the form of uh, the year that they were produced. So as I've said before, the earlier works tend to do much better and also can be to do with edition sizes. So the smaller the edition size, generally speaking, the higher price that will be achieved for your artwork. Thirdly, uh, provenance is also very important and works with a great provenance uh, can also be sold um, for good prices as well. Authentication is a very key part of the process. And there are three main things that you can look for. And the first that we look for is clear provenance. So if the artwork was purchased from a reputable gallery, this can be used as good evidence to support where the artworks come from. Secondly, any sort of invoice receipts, either from auction or, or any sort of reputable places where the artwork was originally purchased from. Thirdly, we can also look into the back of the artwork. So if it's got the original frame, there's often stickers, notes on the back that can sort of lead you on a paper trail to find out the original source. And then is making sure it's actually a work that Riley produced. So perhaps doing the old school, looking in a catalog resume and really familiarizing yourself with the actual image itself to ensure that it's authentic. Riley prints are very fragile, albeit they were many of them were produced on very thick wove paper, but uh, there's certain elements such as sunlight that can be inherently damaging to the piece. So what we always recommend to clients is having the artworks framed to the highest standards as possible. So conservation grade standards where what you can do is have UV protected glass, you can have the artwork float mounted so it can move and change with the temperature of the frame and also to keep the artwork away from direct sunlight. If you do have a Bridget Riley print and you think that there might be some damages cause to the piece, uh, we would always recommend getting in touch. We can put you in touch with conservation specialists and restorers who can treat the artwork to maintain its condition. I think it's important for three main reasons to request evaluation. With the way that the market has been going and trending upwards, it's important for insurance purposes to get an up-to-date insurance valuation as the chances are that it might be underinsured for considering how the prices have moved upwards. Secondly, I think it would be interesting for clients to know more about the artwork, to know what the demand is out there in the network. And there, there are various different routes to market that, that somebody can choose. Uh, the, 
sort of most obvious would be going down a, the route of a brokering where somebody would approach you with a buyer in mind. Um, alternatively, there are other routes such as selling an artwork at auction or through a private dealer or gallery. Thirdly, I think it's important as it will give you an opportunity um, to sell the artwork, which uh, you know somebody could say yes or no to. I definitely think that timing is so crucial. If we cast our eyes back to the Banksy market, history sort of really tells us that timing is very important. At the end of the day, these markets are very fickle and they're very difficult to predict in terms of direction. I would also say that generally the volume on the secondary market is quite low um, and it definitely needs more artworks to feed the demand from collectors at, at my end. So with a scarce amount of artworks, that generally does drive artworks upwards in value. Thirdly, I'd like to say that at auction, these Riley prints have been hammering consistently above the high estimate. So all of these indications really suggest that, that now is a good time to be selling a work. So fortunately at my end, I get to see the first-hand live demand from clients and collectors looking for various artworks. And what we can see is a huge demand, huge surge in demand for earlier works, generally before she started introducing colour into her work, which was about sort of 67. So works such as Movement in Squares, Primitive Blaze upon Blaze, these sort of older works are hugely in demand. And also the Fragment series, again, we've got a lot of demand for that. Also, slightly newer black and white works. I can think of the Bagatelle series that I get a huge amount of demand for works like Sonnet. Again, these are slightly later works in Bridget Riley's career, but again, there's, there's a real demand out there for them. So in summary, Bridget Riley's market is the strongest it's ever been and prices are definitely on the upward trend. So if you do have a piece and are considering selling, then definitely get a valuation on your Riley.